Now there have been a number of different ways that we can customize the look of our Android smartphone and tablet. We can change the home screen and lock screen wallpapers. We can change the launcher to one of the many other custom launchers that are available. And if you have root access or use a custom ROM, then you can use various theme engines. There used to be the CyanogenMod mod theme engine theme engine. There's Substratum right now. Layers before that. But a new feature that has popped up in Android O in the first developer preview is what Google has labeled a device theme. Now Substratum and what used to be called Layers is basically built into the AOSP code base, but it's never been user accessible. It was developed by Sony, submitted to Google, and they've had it in the AOSP code base for a while. Now, Google could be allowing us to use this in the future, but then again, they could remove this in developer preview 2 or 3 or before the final version. Then again, this device theme feature might not even be the user custom themes that most people are thinking of. Everything's still early, but I just wanted to show you where this feature was and what it changes right now. So to start, we just need to launch the settings application. Then we're going to tap on the display option. And then tap on the advanced option to extend these extra features. And then we have an option here called the device theme. Now by default, this device theme is not set to either one of these. Tapping on one will prompt you to reboot the device, and it's actually the pixel theme that we see used normally. You see we have a darker quick settings panel. If we change the device theme to inverted, tap on restart, we're going to see our device reboot and take us back into Android. Now we've had this inverted feature previously. I want to say it was in the accessibility section of the settings, but I could be wrong. It may have been in the developer options or just somewhere else entirely. And what it tries to do is it tries to invert all of the dark and light colors. So if something was white before or dark, I'm sorry, if it was light or white before, then it will change to dark. And that's what we're going to see in the quick settings panel. But it doesn't actually change the colors of the settings. And I haven't seen any other menus within Android that this actually changes. It doesn't even change any applications or anything. So just to show you the settings is the same. You can see we're still we are on the inverted device theme but the quick settings has changed from a dark background to a light background. So again, this could be an early stage of an actual baked-in theme engine for Android that is user accessible without having to have root access. This could be limited to only these two options. Or it could just be a way for Google to allow OEMs to add specific themes to their devices. We'll just have to see how it pans out. 